We've seen lots of different iterations of Princess Peach in our lifetime. There's the classic pixelated Peach, modern Peach, cartoon Peach, Peach, and of course, Princess Peach with power-ups. And while we've seen Princess Peach with a wide variety of power-ups in games, beside our favorite red and green plumbers, today I wanted to look at exclusive power-ups in the brand new game, Princess Peach Showtime. We finally got our first standalone Peach game in over 10 years, without the mention of our mushroom-munching Paisano Mario. In this new game, Peach has a total of 14 new power-ups never before seen, and I wanted to go through them and rank them based on how great they are. This isn't the first time we've seen Peach with exclusive power-ups, because in our first standalone game, Super Princess Peach on the DS, she had power-ups like violent mood swings. Clearly there was no women in that board meeting. But let's get back to Showtime. This game follows Peach at a theater defending against the Sour Bunch. I don't know who gets to name these things, but they make me want to drink some coffee. First one technically isn't a power-up, but also kind of is. Sparkle, which allows you to use ribbons to heal. This is kind of just normal Peach. There's nothing special except the fact you can make people feel happy. I don't know why she doesn't just have a V-Bucks card in her hand though. This is just not really a power-up and doesn't bring anything super duper to the table. So I'm gonna throw this in D tier. The first actual power-up is the Sword Fighter ability. Now this pretty much just gives you a sword. That's all. You can do basic swings with it. There's no unique combos or really anything that makes it stand out aside from the dodge. It is satisfying, but kind of hard to predict because it feels like it just randomly happens. If you attack or jump at the same time as another enemy, you can jump on top or beside, and it pretty much just is an insta-kill. It's not super intuitive and kind of basic C tier. Ninja! This one is more interesting than Sword Fighter. I like how it makes use of the stealth sections, and it seems like it speeds up Peach. The only fighting move is the dash hit, which is mainly just used for when you sneak up on an enemy to get through a stage. I won't say that this is particularly super fun, but it does add a little more thought when you're going through a stage, which is refreshing. I do like how at the end of the level, you can wall run, lift boulders, and just smash through the stage. I just think it's fun how they added a chase scene where you need to capture an enemy quickly while going through an obscure course and trying to collect all these star things. So, uh, B tier. Cowgirl Peach. I like that you can actually see the leather texture on your skin. It's epic. The only thing you can really do is uh, whip whip things. You can whip things, you can grab things with a whip and toss them. Again, nothing incredibly enjoyable about this power up aside from the levels they're in. The levels the power up are featured in are probably my favorite aside from the ice skating peach ones. Mainly because it's so dynamic and can get intense like on the train. But at the end of the day, we're talking about power ups here, not the level. I do like the fact that you can ride on a horse and that peach says shucks. But is riding a horse really a power-up? It's probably one of the best parts about the power-up, but technically, riding a horse isn't a power-up, it's just farm animals running after a train. So, ah uh, shucks, this is going in C. Peach Patissier, what even is that word? This might be a hot take, but this one is actually one of the more fun ones. At the end of the day, it is just button mashing to create cakes, but you do have to do it in a limited amount of time, and that adds the extra challenge. And then there's, of course, cake decorating. Same thing, it's fun with the time limit. What I like is that it does pose a bit of a challenge to get all the star crystals in that set time, but once you kind of figure out how to use the power up and get the most cookies possible in a certain amount of time, then it's actually pretty easy. I do like that her hair is looking like a pretzel. These are super bare bones, and if I told you what they were without you playing them, you'd probably think they were the most lame. But because the game implements a bit of challenge with this power up, I'm throwing it in B. Dashing Thief Peach! So I guess being a criminal is a power up now. This is one of the best handling abilities. It makes great use of agility and is surprisingly fun. This power-up is one of the more fast-paced ones, which makes you swiftly unlock codes and swing using the grapple hook. It's satisfying to swing with this, especially when running away from objects. Spider Peach mode enabled. The level design is great for this ability too, and it can even make you a paper airplane. My only gripe is the look of it. It gets the point across about being a thief, but like, why? It just feels a little bit boring. Dashing Thief Peach is B tier. Yes siri mama, it is. Figure Skater Peach. This one is almost like Ice Peach, but it's not. This was one of the most charming power-ups in the whole game. There was just something I liked about the whole level designs and environments you play in. It just all felt like super happy holiday cheer. And you know how much I love the holidays. And that's fitting because this is all ice themed. As you play these levels, there are indicators on the ground that tell you to either spin or jump. These seem pretty easy, and for the most part, it was. But there were a few times where I missed a couple and I had to restart the stage to nail it properly. The boss battles were also very unique, but again, when you say the ability out loud, people are probably going to off with the fact you're playing as figure skating Peach. I especially liked the moving levels that made Peach move back and forth while the camera pans. It was fun landing spins and jumps before the lights went out on the ground. And unlike some of the animations in this game, this felt very elegant and smooth while also having a lot of personality. Honestly, this one's going in S tier. That's how hard ice skating Peach slaps. Now, Detective Peach. Let me just say, this segment in the game is already better than Nintendo's other Detective game. 
All that to say, this is probably one of the least interesting ones in the whole game. There's no action, no intriguing story, and no good problem solving. Most of the clues are pretty obvious, which makes playing through the level feel even longer than it should. There's at least action in these levels, and it was very easy. She looks kind of cool, but so far, this is the least favorite gameplay wise. Ooh, I'm throwing it in D. Mighty Peach. This power up is pretty cool, it has the best running animation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and it allows Peach to lift and throw cars. The biggest issue is the combat isn't super interesting. It's very similar to the ninja where you just kind of dash, but from that dash, you grab things and you throw stuff. I mean, I guess the throwing cars is pretty cool, but the throwing aspect is kind of like the cowgirl and the dashing is kind of like the ninja. So, I mean, the animations are cool. The action scenes are epic. That's really what makes this power up great. And heck, she can even fly. So I'm gonna throw it an A. Mermaid Peach. This is an interesting one. Completely removing her lower half. This is fundamental flawed. The controls don't feel very smooth. When you move, it feels incredibly snappy, and it's just super finicky. The fish don't always push things properly, and it's not that intuitive. Also, near the end of the stage, when Peach has to sing, it's not obvious when you need to hold the directions of the notes. If you understand it, it's pretty easy, but the game doesn't explain what you need to do that well. The game just says, move the direction the fish are coming. Overall, this power-up is just slow and kind of annoying to play. It feels like I'm playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland, but Kirby is just constantly floating. D tier. This is a complete Little Mermaid rip. Off. Kung Fu Peach! Oh, I meant to throw this on my couch. The movement is great on this ability. The jump is much better because it's higher than normal. Her face is very expressive, and it even adds a whole fighting segment like Street Fighter with timed button presses. Way better than just spamming B like we're used to with the other power-ups. You're still spamming B, but it's way more interesting this way. The combat also feels way better than other abilities because you can beat up enemies and have them crash into each other. The same thing can be said when you slam into them from these poles. A tier. Next, we have a major Princess Peach Showtime spoiler. I feel like the game has been out long enough that you probably either know already or you don't really care to get spoiled. So, Radiant Peach. At the end of Princess Peach Showtime, all the cast from the plays are giving you their love. And boom, she uses this to defeat the big bad boss, Grape. Unlike the other power-ups, this is only used in this one level, which has you shoot stars and float away to dodge certain objects like the fire shooting from the stage. And while this looks insanely cool, if we compare it to some of the other power-ups, this is actually quite lackluster unless you take into account how epic it all feels. All you're really doing is spamming the B button, which is fine, but it's not as satisfying as some of the other power-ups like Kung Fu Peach or Figure Skating Peach. It's a great finale because everything is so intense, but comparatively, the gameplay is lacking. So I'm putting this in B. Next is Super Radiant Peach, which is essentially the same thing as normal Radiant Peach, except the dress is now longer and has more stars. Here, instead of spamming the B button, you're holding the B button, and then the laser just kind of shoots out. This is way more intense, but I still stand by what I said for the normal Radiant Peach. But this does look pretty epic here, so I gotta put it one tier higher at A tier. The whole feeling of that power up and the intensity that you get about this brand new blue peach that can fly kind of like kind of like Rosalina. Hello, is that a coincidence? I don't know. It's just it's it's super epic. Got to put it in A tier. But the gameplay wise, figure skating peach is still my favorite. So anyways, let me know what your favorite Princess Peach power up is and uh thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and hey, if you want to see these videos early, consider becoming a channel member. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.